I'm one of the demonstrators and maintenance technicians for the Reproduction Baby computer. That's at the reproduction that was done for the 50th anniversary of the first time the stored program computer successfully ran over at the University of Manchester. The reason I volunteered was after I retired, I'd had a lifetime working in computers and computers have always been my passion and hobby and um, people like myself have in fact formed something called the Computer Conservation Society and they've successfully rebuilt old and original computers and one of my old bosses, Chris Burton, who was the leading light on the rebuild of Baby, I happened to get talking to him and he said, would you like to come along? And for me, on the technical side, it takes me back to my youth when I've got the chance to repair a valve machine using oscilloscopes. So in that sense, when and if Baby breaks, it becomes a sort of a hobby fixing job. But then in addition, you get the opportunity to meet the public and talk about the start of computing, both to the very young and also to the very old, some of whom have actually worked in the industry themselves. So I find it very rewarding, both from, a, if you like, a hobby technical side and also from uh, meeting the people and, and speaking. So we do this uh, once a week and we have a little team of people spread over a few days. Well, I'm one of the volunteers I try and tell people about the Baybay Bay computer. Quite amazing, really. It's the first computer anywhere in the world that stored its own program. It's all about computer memory and the lack of it that there was. And uh, they discovered in Manchester that, rather bizarrely, you could use old radar tubes as computer memory. That's what they did, and they got it working. And so for a few years, this was absolutely the cat's whisker, you know, best way doing it really. I, I'm a teacher, well I was a teacher long, long ago, a uh, physics teacher. I've always been keen on computers, you know, building homebrew stuff and all that, radio ham, quite interesting electronics, and um, to join the Computer Conservation Society a long ago. And once they were a few year, a year or so ago, they were asking for volunteers, so I applied and kindly they said I could come. So that explains it really. I find the electronics very taxing, quite honestly. I do find there are some people in the group who are a lot more qualified than I in the electronics side of it. So I do find that quite taxing. I'm trying to understand it, but it's, uh, it's quite a steep learning curve. But um, it's fun to talk to people, and I think it's probably better to have somebody there, even a non-expert like myself, than have nobody there. So uh, I chat to people and try and tell them about the story and how... Things have changed. That's it, really. Fun, fun, I think. <laughs>